Hello, my beautiful family. Grand Rising. I just absolutely, my heart is just so touched. I just absolutely love reading um, you guys sharing your stories and uh, sharing with me your beautiful journey. Um, I just finished reading a bunch of DMs with uh, members of our community, just opening up and sharing. And I just love it so much. I just love, I'm just now starting my day. So um, it just feels so good. I just want to let you guys know, thank you for sharing with me your journey. Um, you know, your journey together with me, even. Um, it's just been so beautiful. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm feeling in my feels, feeling a little grateful. I'm in this, this beautiful energy, feeling my heart is full and um of love and gratitude and i wanted to share that with you guys so this is the mars not the mars wow mars okay spirit masculine energy mars aries right so <laughs> it's not an accident that i said that um this is our aries season reading so take what resonates and leave the rest i started doing it's so interesting that come full circle a year later I started doing the the seasonal readings. Um, I started with Aries actually, and I remember exactly where I was last year. I started doing these um, every season reading, and it resonated so much, right? The guidance for the season that I I, I enjoyed it so much. I remember where I was. I was sitting outside near a fountain, and the weather was seventy five degrees. And um, I remember the, 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 the camera were getting really hot and I mean, not being able to finish the reading, but uh, the majority of the reading was, that was saved. So I was excited about that. I remember that I'm feeling a little nostalgic of that day. Last night rained all night. So it's not a sunny 75 degree day today, but, um, so here we are happy new year, right? Um, we reached a, a full year here. Uh, astrological new year so if you haven't started those resolutions or those goals um, for yourself you know on on the 31st this is your opportunity for a reset and um, to get going because the new year starts now right I usually celebrate new year three times around um, where I get my little jump start it kind of reminds me of when the planets they go retrograde and and then move forward and they kind of like go back and forth a little bit i celebrate my birthday january 25th um that's when i start my new year again that's when i officially start my new year and then a kickstart uh hits during the astrological new year which is when we had the solstice um aries season so aries the fire starter, Aries is masculine energy, you guys. So for the feminines, for the divine feminines, you might need to be conscious and aware of balancing out your feminine and your masculine energy, especially if you're dating and you're in a relationship. I just finished, wa finished watching a feminine energy video. Just a reminder, because um, this is Mars energy, Aries is masculine energy, so you're probably going to feel uh, the energy of wanting to take action more during this time frame, just knowing when to balance out the masculine and feminine and being aware of it. Okay, so Aries, a fire starter. Some of the key words to, to, to describe Aries is self-confident, decisive, forceful, strong, outgoing, thrill-seeking, desiring, victorious, explosive, egotistical, passionate, pushy, hot-headed, impatient, inconsiderate and careless yes it is ruled by mars i'm going to read a little bit here of course aries is the fire sign of the zodiac and i'm sorry not the fire i need glasses you guys of course aries is the first sign of the zodiac competition is to aries what the desert is to sand both both reason for being and the landscape that feels the most like home the urge to be first is also what feels this Aries itching and itching impatience. The cardinal quality of the fire element burning through each new challenge like a rocket fuel on a mission to Mars. Aries is a hot rod engine growling with desire. 
and an innocent crocus shoot poking its head through virgin earth on the first day of spring. The Aries me first attitude <laughs> can come off as a selfishness, reframed as a passion for living life to the fullest. It becomes an inspiration. The Aries leadership qualities are legendary, although a tendency towards burnout means missions mapped are often left undone. Motivation comes and goes, boredom always on the horizon. Aries needs a willing troop of foot soldiers to manifest the big vision. Vision, And with the charisma of a gleaming gladiator in the ring, there is usually no shortage of takers. Do not try to coach or contain Aries. This sign already knows what's best for it. Frustration is having to wait for others to catch up. Discernment. The function of a deeply embodied decisiveness. The road ahead is a sun-scorched highway, straight and direct, with no speed limit, since rules and regulations make little sense to Aries, especially when they may impede on rapid progress towards the attainment of each glittering new goal. Movement is essential for Aries, physical, mental, and emotional. Stuck energy leads to, to leads swiftly to disease, this ease. <clears throat> and the Aries speedster has no space for access baggage. This sign is quick to drop that which no longer serves a purpose. But a little extra fat is where the juice of life lives. The moments of pause are where we get savor, where we get to savor the flavor. Learning to temper its tendency to push forward for forward motion, for forward motion's sake, is the greatest challenge for Aries faces as well as the path to satisfying a seemingly unquenchable thirst. All right, you guys. So that's a little bit of information about Aries. We're in Aries season. So if you're feeling any of those keywords we talked about or this impulsivity, you know, or passion or all of the things we talked about, right? Um, you want to jump in the momentum, but, you, but also as a reminder to be conscious and aware of the 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 side right of aries the the shadow side right and um fully being in that full-blown masculine energy emperor energy and now is the time to actually you know um heal the divine masculine energy within you and step into the divine masculine energy within you when the time calls for it okay so i want to start off with i want to connect with the energy and we're going to start off Interesting because I was just talking about my my poppy, which is my father, and he's an he was an Aries. His birthday is uh, the beginning of April, and he passed away uh, in 2020. And as I was reading that, I was thinking of him, and how hot tempered <laughs> he was. So, uh, so yeah. So watch your temper this month, right? Um, watch your temper. Work on having a little bit more patience. All of these these themes may come up for you, okay? So let's see what's the main energy, and then we're going to get started. All right, Spirit, show me the main energy here. I split the deck. We have leadership. If that's not Aries, if that's not Emperor energy, if that's not Aries energy, I don't know what is. <laughs> so leadership, right? They're, you're, you're, you're the one. You're the one. You're the one that they, isn't that the ram? You're the one. No, it's stag. Duh, it's looking right at me. My goodness. Maybe I need to have another cup of coffee. <laughs> All right. Wow, it looks just like it. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> yes, I don't know the names of all of my animals. My son, who has an Aries rising, he, do he does. 
He knows all of the animals, all of the fishes. He's extremely intelligent uh, when it comes to our spirit animals here. So anyway, so leadership, that is Aries energy. That is um, emperor energy here. Is there anything else, spirit? Anything else? The main energy here for the collective for Aries season. You're being asked to step up. Knowledge, air, spirit, and enlightenment. Aries does rule the crown chakra, and it is a fire sign. So if you want to work on your crown as well as... Um, your solar plexus, okay? Air element, seeking a lot of knowledge, right? This comes from picking up a new, a new area of study that came out for the new moon in Aries reading. Um, consuming a lot of information here so that you can share. You have a lot of knowledge to share as a leader, okay? In your community, in the small corner of the world, um, in your family, in your work, okay, you are, uh, the one that people look up to, inspire, follow, okay, um, so lead by example, I just heard, be the change that you want to see, right, share your knowledge, continue to intake air spirit here, I'm actually going to just read, I'm not going to read the whole thing, you guys, um, but I am going to read, I am going to read um, the, uh, just the bottom part of the leadership because I feel like this is, this is the, the energy for, for airy season. We have you inspire others to greater heights. Step into a leadership in your life. You are a beacon for others. So yeah, you want to utilize and capitalize on this energy, align with this energy of Aries being the, the first sign of the Zodiac, right? The baby of the Zodiac. You are a beacon for others. Shine in your own life. Be gentle with yourself and others. However, do not play small. Take action. This is your, this is your time to step up. So, if, you, if you're not doing that already, go within, okay? And, and do some soul searching, some introspection, some self-reflection. So you can get the clarity around why that is so that you can go ahead and do the work around it to clear away the energetic blocks because you have it in you. <laughs> you have the knowledge, you have the wisdom, you, ha you have this special gift. Okay. So if you're not already doing it, you naturally, you could potentially, uh, might need to work on your solar plexus for confidence, lower chakras as well, throat chakra. Uh, maybe you guys are public speakers or you're influencers, or you want to be, you have a lot to share, but starting could be, um, what's creating some fear. Just remember if you're coming out, if you're stepping out of your comfort zone, you know, where you've been perhaps may seem, as a matter of fact, I'm going to, there's a deck that I'm being called to right now, where you've been seems safe. You're comfortable with what you have, what you know. If you do feel a little bit of fear, that's a sign that you're meant to go in that direction. It's trying to push you to evolve, to grow. That little bit of fear that you feel, that little bit of anxiety regarding stepping into the unknown, right? When you're taking a leap of faith and doing something new, that's a message that's, that's telling you that when you do take that step with faith and trust in yourself, in your abilities, in your gifts, in your own guidance that you're getting, and in the universe, that the universe is going to match your energy and catch you, right? I did this myself. I had a different career before my spiritual awakening. So I understand where the fear could be coming from. But if, when you face that fear, it's actually going to put you on, on the next level of your soul growth. You'll be in a new timeline, Okay. That's where all of your opportunities are going to start coming in. Doors are going to start opening up for you. I'm going to read um, the Air Spirit real quick, and then I want to pull from this energy. I was just guided to this deck. There's a couple of cards that I was seeing in my mind's eye that guided me to this deck. So we'll see if those cards show up. We have the Air Spirit here for knowledge. 
Take a moment to think things through. Think as well as feel the right direction. Get clarity and become focused before stepping for forth. Right, I just said that. I just said that. To go within, to pray, to ask for clarity. You want to also connect with Archangel Metatron. Take care to have thoughtful communication with others. Working on your throat chakra, calling Archangel Gabriel. Going to help you with that as well. You guys inspire me so much. So, you know, after reading, after reading what everyone sent me, um, I, I just felt this rush of energy and motivation and inspiration to keep going because that's what you guys keep telling me, to keep going, right? Don't stop. Keep doing what you're doing. Look how much you've helped me. And it's I get emotional reading this stuff. So it's like, yes, Spirit, yes. We keep going. Together we heal. Together we, right? We walk each other home. So we keep going. We keep on keeping on, you know? Um, we have been on this journey together. If you guys have been with me for a while, welcome back. If you guys are, are new, welcome to the family. Um, we've been on this journey for a while together. We have gone through ups and downs. We have gone through celebrations and we have gone through grief together, you know, and, um, and I feel this connection with you guys so strongly, my soul family and my soul tribe, you know, I, I can feel the pull when you guys need an SOS reading. I can feel you guys on a deep level. So, and I want you guys to know that I wouldn't probably have made it as far as I have on my healing if it wasn't for this. Feeling you guys' beautiful energy, your light, your love, your support, which I want to thank you for that. Thank you guys for all of your support, for all of your donations. May you receive tenfold infinity and beyond all that you give from the generosity and the kindness of your heart. It's all coming back to you tenfold. Thank you guys for liking, share, doing all the YouTube stuff, for liking, sharing, subscribing. It helps. That's how you guys can support each other. It helps the message to reach those that need it, as well as helps our community to grow. So I appreciate you guys for that. All right, Spirit. What else here for the collected? For Aries. For Aries. Rest and rejuvenate at the bottom of the deck. So that going within energy, that diving deep, right? Um, angel of balance. Didn't I say that you might need to balance out the masculine and the feminine energy, feminine energy of rest and stillness during this time frame. So here it is confirming that, uh, you know, there's a reason why I was called to watch this feminine energy video today. I've been doing a feminine energy guided meditation every single day. It's a morning meditation, a 10 minute one. What, what else is the, ooh, take action on those ideas. There's a money path. There's a money path. There's a doorway. It's a door that's opening up here. The reason why you're getting ready to receive because you are in alignment with the frequency of abundance. You might want to do abundance affirmations. Okay. This right here is a great time for you to step into your leadership role. Launch whatever you're needing to launch. Emperor energy, right? Whatever empire you're currently building, it's growing. It's because you know your value and you know your worth, okay? And um, and because of that, you're, you're in alignment with the vibration of abundance. I have deceit here at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, I just like the last reading, the, the new moon in Aries reading, we saw a lot of that energy in there. Seven of swords, beware who you, beware who you trust at this time. Things are unfolding. Things are moving. You're receiving enlightenment here. Oh, new beginning. Look at that. Daffodil spirit. So flowers are starting to bloom. Be very flexible right now. New beginnings. Beautiful. D daffodils. That's why I started start seeing daffodils around springtime. So, um, so yeah. You're open up to receive here. You're going to have prosperity and abundance coming to you. Uh, there's doors are opening up. So be careful with, use your discernment. 
Use your intuition and your discernment on who. Call in Archangel Michael. Ask for protection. And then, and then Archangel Michael is going to reveal everything to you. And also block folks from coming into your energy. And another way to stay, another way to stay protected is by grounding your energy. What else? We have attachment here. So Spirit wants you to get more, to ground your energy. Like I said, call in Archangel Michael. I just said that. Spirit, here's Archangel Michael showing up. Okay, root chakra energy. So you want to really work on your root chakra, because especially if you have anxiety or fear. This is talking about your stability, your money even, feeling feeling more secure, more stable. So you can release your healing, your abundance wounding, so you can release your attachment to things. Because the more we grip to energy, the more it runs from us in another direction, right? Um, the more we strive and we chase, the so so how to transmute this energy here is for you to get out of lack because attachment is lack, lack consciousness, and step into gratitude, what you're grateful for, the abundance and the beautiful energy you're grateful for that you already have in your life, okay? As you can see, uh, the bush here, most of it is dead, but the little bit that she does have for now that's growing and blooming and blossoming in her life. She's very grateful for, right? Um, be more appreciative. Uh, I'm getting here at, so that you can release your 515. So you can release your attachment to things, monetary things, to people, to situations. Okay. So that's how you're going to transmute this energy. You can also transmute this energy by doing a lock to abundance guided meditation and just doing abundance affirmations. Okay. Um, that's going to be very helpful. And uh, Archangel Michael can help you with this. You have doors opening up for you that spirit is going to say, hop on the wave, hop on the momentum and take action on it. That's what's going to lead to this door. There's a temple path. There's a path here for you. Okay. Opening up. So to be more in the energy of of gratitude. I, I woke up in this energy of gratitude. I st we started the, the reading last time. We started the reading last time with um, with gratitude, with this angel prayer deck um, and the new moon and Aries reading, okay? So I was just guided to this deck again here so that we can ask the angels here. Angels, what could we be more grateful for at this time that we're the energy that we're already in? What could we be more grateful for? What are you helping us with at this time, angels? What are you helping us all with collectively at this time? Happy Friday. <laughs> Happy Friday, you guys. I don't, you know, time is an illusion in my, in my world. So for me, every day is Friday. Um, I don't, uh, really, sometimes people have to, t the, how I know when it's a weekend is when I get to see, for I could potentially get to see my granddaughter. That's why the weekends are special for me because I get to see my granddaughter. We have here, you are protected. Archangel Michael's here again. Thank you, Archangel Michael, twice for surrounding me with your protective light. So be grateful for, you are protected. Supreme protection, I heard. What else could we be grateful for at this time, angels? What are you helping us with? Connect with music. So be more in this flowy energy, um, a feminine energy of flow, okay? And play at this time. Some of you guys could be very serious. And Spirit is saying, have fun with life. Do something fun. Enjoy your days. Enjoy your moments, right? Take pleasure in the things that you do. Feminine energy. Thank you, angels, for inspiring me through music. So some of you guys are feminine energy of creation, are being inspired through music at this time. Archangel Metatron is here saying, this is, um, I believe this is Archangel Metatron's cube, saying, take control of your thoughts. Focus your mind, okay? How are you going to do that? By grounding your energy, like I said, Aries th rules uh, the crown chakra. So you, this is something that you're going to be asked to be aware of and conscious throughout the entire season. Uh, I think we have most of April. 
wait, March, yeah, most of April, probably until like around the end of April, maybe, I'm not sure when this is the last day of Aries season, it could be between the 18th and the 21st, I, I didn't even get to look, let me see, oh, it, never mind, you guys, it's around that time frame, around that time frame, you guys will probably know, put it in the comments below, all right, so, okay, spirit, what else here? We got here the magician. So that's a very powerful energy of manifestation. That's why Spirit said focus your mind. You can't focus unless you're grounded. If you're not focused, you're distracted. And and you know what, what we always talk about, focused intention, right? You want to maintain, what was it? Hold the focus and maintain your vibration. For us to be able to manifest here more, more please, is uh, when we are going to release our attachment to, to people, places, things, the outcome, monetary stuff, okay? So if we're attached, we're in lack. So get to the root cause and work, and, and work from there. Because you are manifesting, going in a new direction here even. Okay, what other messages do you have for the collective for Aries season? I'm also going to get... Since Archangel Michael wants to show up twice, <laughs> I'm going to pull it from his deck and get a message from him. What else here? Spirit for the collective, for guidance for the collective for Aries season. Queen of Cups. Beautiful energy of love and compassion, psychic abilities, creativity. So you're being asked, uh, the guidance is to connect more with the creativity, with music, with your feeling 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 with your emotions okay um feminine or masculine and i did say your your uh divine masculine energy is going to be on high gear during this time because this is mars is masculine energy the queen of cups is saying soften into that feminine energy of creation and, and emotion and creativity feel more think less okay um because you're manifesting. She's psychic. She's intuitive. She's creative. <sighs> Energy of forgiveness as well. Opening up to love and compassion. What else here? So much love. I was feeling so much love today. What is the other? The, uh, what more? What other guidance do you have for the collective for Aries season? Yeah, things are gonna move uh, during this time frame. Okay. Things are going to move rather fast, and it's, it might feel, you might need to work on balancing out your emotions. It might feel um, overwhelming, chaos, <laughs> upheaval I'm getting with the uh, how fast it could, some things could be happening all at once. This could be you're being guided to travel somewhere, maybe take a little vacation, take a little break. This could be a lot of information. A lot of downloads, epiphanies, aha moments coming to you. But this could also be lots of communication and messages coming towards you also. Um, could be these doors, right, that are opening up. We have strength. That wanted to come out weird with the moon under. So, yeah, it's going to probably take a lot of courage. There's, there's a tower storm warning here. It's probably going to take a lot of courage um, for you to go down this path that's unknown, that you... And I'm getting, I'm getting here. I feel like you're going to have a momentum and energy that you're going to be asked to take action on and hop on that wave, right? Where's that action card right here? There's going to be some action, some movement that's guiding you here on your path. Okay. But it is going to require you to, um, have, com be gentle with yourself, have compassion. This is that playful energy, right? Uh, confidence, self-esteem, courage, okay, to go on down the, the unknown. When I see this card, I think about, you know, the way forward may not be clear, but my intuition, the moon, the, the, the queen of cups, feminine energy, but my intuition lights the way for me one day at a time, one step at a time. If I continue to follow my intuition, the path will appear itself in front of me at the tower here so yeah leo energy for for uh heart based strong heart chakra energy here with leo 
making your heart as light as a feather here so that you can listen to your heart and follow your heart. Follow what feels good and what lights you up. That's the path. That's the way to go. When you're in this energy, that's when it's go time. That's when it's go time. When you're in this beautiful energy of inspiration and creation, right? Creativity and inspiration, confidence. You might need to work on doing a confidence guided meditation. When we saw this sideways, I, I felt this was a lot of resistance energy, okay? Because of fear. What else here for the collective, for the Aries season here, Spirit? Death and the Two of Cups. So we have uh, Pluto here. We have a Scorpio energy. So I love this energy. This is talking about after every ending, there's always a new beginning. So, you know, Scorpionic energy, a lot of lack of trust and a lot of fear here regarding some regarding a, a sp your specific situation in your life okay um watch your negative thoughts right watch any kind of dark thoughts o also scorpionic energy with this attachment here okay so gripping fear of luck could, could be abandonment woundings that might be coming up for some of you guys uh with the scorpio energy here scorpio archetype right it is requiring courage so you're going through a major life change or transformation here. Things are closing. Things are ending. So you can have a new beginning. We have the two of cups. Things are finally balancing out in your life. Things are becoming fair. Karmic justice. Right? Because now you've learned so much from these endings that now you are confident enough in yourself that you're making the best choices and the best decisions for yourself that's according to your values, morals, and integrity. You learn that you get what you give, cause and effect, right? We have Libra. Now we have one, two, three major arcanas, which is important because it's talking about major life changes. That's destined and fitted to happen for you right now. When you release the resistance and you allow yourself to flow like water, right? Things starts to move. What was it? I saw this uh, quote. I'm actually going to post it on my Instagram. Um, it says, when you move, when you move on, the universe moves with you. So it's like, whatever you're letting go of, the attachment here, whatever you're letting go, right? It's bringing in um, balance into your life, a balanced connection, a balanced relationship, a kindred spirit. You're aligning with your soulmate and your soul tribe. So whatever it is here that you have been holding on to could be with the strength card. Right, strange card could also mean that, right? Resistance, holding on, locked in, locked in. She's trying to open this lion's mouth or something like that. You know, whenever you do allow yourself to let go, whatever you've been attached to, new opportunities comes in that's meant for you. You have a new soul contract. There's a new soul contract here with somebody that it's a kindred spirit that you connect on a, on a soul level, on every level, physical, spiritual, mental, and emotional. You see eye to eye with this person. You may feel like you've known them before, right? It's a very easy and smooth connection, okay? It's a soulmate connection. And this person is mirroring back to you. Some This person is coming probably to help you, uh, to, to take you out of, to inspire you, motivate you, and to possibly take you out of your loopy loop for some of you guys, right? And, 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 and inspire you to, towards this change. Because that's what soulmates do. Soulmates appear in our lives when our soul is ready to evolve and go to the next level, right? Of ascension. So, and it's a very healing connection. You see the healing caduceus. And then we have the lion here again. The lion twice. Okay, so, so integrate. Come into union with your, with your inner lion. Right? Come into union. What was what's that? What's that energy? Um, oh, it's reminding me of what is it? Spirit, right here. Lion, harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead ma magnificently. Yes, yes. 
So what a beautiful uh, message so far. Clarify death here for the collective. There's stuff you're letting go and moving on and moving forward towards. Um, yeah, you're letting this go. It's too much. The burdens and the baggage of the past. You can't start this new beginning that we saw here. Daffodil spirit. We got to be more flexible, less rigid, less stubborn, right? And you're going to be tested this, this month regarding uh, stubborn, being stubborn and rigidity, right? With, with it being an Aries energy. You have a new beginning. You're at a 10 here. Enough is enough. I feel like this person that's coming into your life could be, could be a, a, fr a friend or a lover. It's, it's, a, it's a member of your soul family, your soul tribe. It's an important person in your life right? This person is coming in. We saw the justice cards to help to balance out the scales in your life, to add to your life. It's like you've done the work already by yourself, your solo's journey. And now, and now you're getting, you know, uh, now the universe is saying the rest of your healing is going to be done in relation with another person. Sending somebody to help you. It's not that you need not that you're not self-sufficient or independent. It's because now this part of the journey you're meant to do with, with the love and support from others because you learn to open up to receive love and support. You're, you're meant to do life. We're meant to do it with interpersonal relationships, right? We're, we're, we're all healing together, holding each other's hand, helping to walk each other home. When you open up yourself to receive, you, you, you receive, receive. When you open yourself up to receive, you open up your flow of abundance to come to you. So doors are opening because you're opening yourself up to receive. You're letting people in to help you here. This, this is the end of this old, stagnant, heavy, burdensome cycle. You're letting go. You're in more appreciation energy because you're rooting yourself. You're grounding yourself. You're healing your abundance wounding here, right? You've gained so much knowledge so far. You've been healing this entire time. For a lot of you guys who's been with me for a while, your abundance wounding. You're letting stuff go a lot easier, a lot smoother, okay? You're, because you've been transmuting energy and coming into the energy of abundance for a long time. It, it is a long journey. It is a long process. I've been healing this myself for a long time. So, you know, seeing it here, seeing the, 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 what is it? The transmuting of the energy, seeing the shift from being, you know, fearful and, and attached and guarded to being more receptive energy is so beautiful to me. So there's a huge healing here that's taking place. So you are allowing it's the end of, the, of this uh, tough, burdensome cycle. This is a, an energy of not a lot of balance, of could be overworking, working too much until your body shuts down, right? This is an energy of leaning, of needing, needing you know, to, to, uh, to allow help and support in from your friends, from your family, from your community, from your soul tribe. There's going to be something to celebrate here. Yeah, right now, yeah, lean on your inner circle. You're getting a lot of revelations, epiphanies, downloads, breakthroughs, okay? Your thoughts are becoming very clear. You've been through a lot, so you did learn from your past here, especially when it comes to your choices in love, okay? So it's like now you're getting light bulb moments. You're awakening. Things are not so dark anymore for you, okay? And it's like... Whatever trapped emotion, whatever was stuck in the, in the subconscious mind is all coming up to the surface to be healed, to be released, right? This, you're coming out of this feeling stagnant and stuck. You, you're seeing a new direction for yourself. Or you will be because the, the, the hanged man is a card of awakening. The hanged man is a card of an epiphany. You're going to be stuck there until you see a different perspective. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Wow, look at this creation. Look at this. This is solar plexus energy uh, of passion. And this is you. Wow, Aries energy, the emperor. <laughs> Masculine, feminine energy, straight up into balance here. Right here, this is a spark of, of, of um, 
inspiration and creativity. This is a passionate new beginning that is going to come to you when you're in this energy of receiving. She is psychic, intuitive, creative. The forgiveness queen might be into the occult, the esoteric, right? So there is a, a, a beautiful opportunity coming in for passion. It's something you desire, something you're good at. This is like your paintbrush. This is your paintbrush. Ideas are coming to you. Okay, this is going to be that fire in your belly that you're going to feel, that momentum right here with the Eight of Wands. That spirit is going to say, a call to action. It's go time. It's go time. Grab that, that hop on that wave and, and take charge. Come out of the comfort zone, right? Come out of the comfort zone. We are building here a stable foundation with the Four of Wands. When you do... Allow yourself to take that step forward. Look what you step into. Complete and total vitality, health, abundance, happiness. But first you got to be in this energy of self-assured, independence. I am um, not attached to anything here. You got to break free from your attachments. The attachments could be the blockage. This right here is an energy of somebody that's an entrepreneur that is... Um, Physically independent, very well manifested in the physical world, right? Because because this this individual is lighthearted, positive, happy, okay, choosing happiness. There's a lot of that coming in. Not only are you going to be uh, physically fulfilled, physically independent, and feel very stable, you're also going to have the emotional fulfillment of your of your in your environment. For some of you guys, if you're manifesting love, here's an emperor. Emperors, masculines, if you're manifesting love, here's your queen of cups, right? There's no gender here, okay? But there's always one that's more feminine, one that's more masculine. So whoever that is for you. Um, if this is just you wanting uh, healing and peace and joy and vitality, recovery in your family, in your home, here it is, okay? We're breaking free from this energy here that's been trying to hold us back and hold us down and leave us stagnant for a very long time. All right, wow, look, look what's between your complete and total fulfillment here. We have now the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, which is the culmination. Look what's between that. Actually, it was, it was like this. Don't let this energy stop you. This could be the fears coming up, the shadow, the triggers, the addictions, the codependencies, the attachments. Don't, the attachment, see, attached. Don't let that stop you and get in the way of this beautiful energy here. Be conscious and aware when this is coming up for you and transmute the energy. We have a major commitment here coming in for some of you guys. Actually, that wasn't there. This was here, I think. No, no, no. It was like this. We have a major commitment. Offer coming in. Uh, an opportunity for a new beginning, a door that's opening up, okay? So very nice, very beautiful energy. This opportunity could be coming in from an emperor. And because you're opening up to receiving here, this could be love, right? For some of you guys, it's a given. Here it is, but it will require you to also tame yourself, not to move so fast. Tame your inner beast, your inner animal, not to be impulsive, okay? To slow down, to take, take things slowly, and to feel safe. Take your time to feel safe. That's masculine energy. Tell me more. Yeah, whatever these thoughts are, they're just triggers and they're going to pass. They're not lasting. These are fears because things might be moving too fast, like I said. Take time to center yourself. It is good. Whatever this is that you're moving away from and into is new. Okay? So there might, there, you might have some anxieties and some fears that are, might come up for you. It's natural. It's human. Just when they come up, know how to dif differentiate between what's real and what's fear-based. Okay? What's real? Illusion here and confusion and delusion. What's real and what's fear-based? And for that, here's Archangel Michael showing up twice. Letting you know you are safe. 
You are protected. I am here. Ground your energy. Work on your root chakra. Clarify strength. It is going to take courage. Yeah, this is... Okay, wow. It's like you're going to need to make some kind of major important decision for yourself. And don't do it from this place of panic. Wait until you're emotionally more stable, more grounded, so that you can see things clear, so you can focus your mind. During this month, during, during this season, this is what to look out for. Major change. The Wheel of Fortune, it's going to require flexibility and it's going to require courage you're at the, the wheel is turning for you that's why the wheel of fortune is that new relationship that new career that new home it's like your luck is turning this is like a turning point a turn of events for you your luck is turning things are flying and flowing into your life this this season right here with the eight of wands right this is jupiter a card of expansion good luck opportunity possibilities growth okay so and it is an upheaval because it's 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 uh it's creating major major changes within our physical life it could even be internal as well because as within so without so we unless we would have changed this the wheel doesn't really turn because we saw the hangs man until we change our minds, change our perspectives, change our energy, change our vibration, which I feel that happened. I feel like Pisces season really helped with this, right? With us connecting with our feelings and our emotions more. Putting us in this fantasy with the Seven of Cups and the Hangs Man, Neptune energy, this fantasy this, this daydreamy energy, which is um, also how you manifest. And it's like now, it's time. Now the manifestation is coming in. And it's going to time for you to act on it. Wow, is it, wow, did I manifest this? It's like when your manifestation starts flying in really fast. And you're like, I can't believe this is true. This is too good to be true. It's a, yes, be in the energy of gratitude. Everything is flying in. Door, doors are opening. Money is flying at you. At this time this is the time right here so just be conscious of that okay um, I can't believe this is true <laughs> here is my good news here's my opportunity here's my second chance some of you guys it's a new job it's a new partnership that's bringing in a lot of balance and a lot of harmony into your life okay spirit said slow down you're not gonna want to slow down because Mars right Mars is gonna say Let's be spontaneous. <laughs> you know, let's go, go, go. But here is your feminine energy of flow to remind you. Take it easy, right? Take it easy. We're going to go, but we're going to go at a good at a good pace that doesn't overwhelm us. So whenever you do feel like this, feeling a little anxious, your trig something's triggering you, go in with the trigger and 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 try to um Decipher where it's coming from so you can go in and meditate on it. So you can heal it, right? So you can use your affirmations and decipher what why is this coming up for me right now? What is it? What message does it have for me? What is it trying to tell me? Spirit. What message do you have? What fortune for the collective for the airy season? We have moon. Moon. Pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. Right here. We we got that earlier, didn't we? With the with the moon card we saw. And I said, I said, you're not going to see the way ahead. You don't it's unknown. It's it's hidden from you. But allow your intuition to guide you. One day at a time, one step at a time. But you you're gonna need confidence and courage for it. And and walking by faith. Okay, we have marriage at the bottom of the deck. Some of you guys are manifesting. Uh, you're in the vibration of love here. Some of you guys are manifesting. You're attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional, oops, and unconditional love here. Some of you guys are manifesting this huge change of lifestyle, huge change in your life, going from single to being in a relationship. We did see the two of cups. You guys are rising from the ashes. Phoenix rising here. Be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. Exactly. You guys had a major ending going through a huge spiritual transformation here. 
You're putting an end to this burden. You don't have to do life alone anymore, okay? Or, or walk on your journey feeling so alone anymore. You're, you're manifesting somebody to do life with you. Wow, what a beautiful message. Spirit, what else here? I'm going to pull from Archangel Michael. Showed up twice. What else for the collective? For Aries season. What else for the collective for Aries season? We have opened up to your spiritual gifts here. See her hands being activated. Remember that your true nature is spiritual, not physical. The angels are sending you messages to guide your soul's growth. Yeah, this is solar plexus energy, gut feeling. Here you are, super creative and feminine energy of creativity. Spirit wants you to receive, open up to it, okay? Uh, and be in this energy of appreciation. Open your heart. What else, Archangel Michael? Okay, two messages. Your vibration is rising, so you are definitely coming out of a period of feeling a lot of heaviness. Heavy energy. Oh, piece of hair is bothering me. Um, so you, you are definitely uh, coming out of a season of having a hard time. Okay, here. Uh, things are going to start moving for you uh, for the better. The, the Wheel of Fortune, number 10. We got two 10s already, so 10, 10. You could be seeing that a lot. Um, it's a four fixed sign. Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, and Leo. We have you. You're ready for more in your life. You're ready for more. That's why your soul is calling you and pushing you out of your comfort zone. Your career is growing and blossoming. Look at all this abundance coming in. Now is the time to make the changes you have been contemplating. Now is the time. Mars, uh, uh, Aries energy is really inspiring you, encouraging you, moving you forward, pushing you out of your comfort zone here. You just got to take control of your thoughts. Focus your mind, right? Focus your mind, okay? Remember that. Call in Archangel Metatron for help. You have help. You have spiritual help. This experience has divine meaning. Healing will come. Know that you are on the path of growth. I know that you're processing through some heavy stuff because of these two cards. When I read it from the book, these two cards are saying you're, you're feeling different nowadays. You're feeling more spiritual even. Right? Your vibration is rising, so opportunities are coming. You want to maintain your vibration by protecting your energy. By making sure you're in, you're not consuming things that are going to lower your vibration. Look up what that is. That you're that the people that, that's around you are not negative people, right? Um, so you can maintain your vibration and hold your focus. Okay, Th this is a time of great spiritual growth for you. You are evolving to occupy a higher energetic frequency. You're aligning with everything that you do. One, I did see that here. I did see that here. That. Um, you're coming out of attachment and into appreciation, okay? So um, you're releasing what no longer serves you and, and, and really surrendering to this beautiful expansion, good luck, good fortune, and change that's coming into your life. And with this, with this strength card coming out kind of sideways earlier, it's telling me that you are releasing the resistance around this change. You're being more fluid and more open to it. If not, this is the guidance. Okay, my loves, I'm going to pull a quick love message. If you guys would like your own personal reading, please reach out to me. The information will be in the description box below. Be aware that there are some scammers um, that created a false, uh, a fraudulent, a fake Instagram account using my name and she is contacting all of you guys that's following me um, on Instagram and um, soliciting. I would never ask you guys for a reading, okay? The only way to get a session with me is if you guys reach out to me through uh, my only one and only Instagram account. There's captions there. Um, and uh, you'll know that it's my account, okay? Um, because our, I've been praying for Archangel Michael to alert you guys of what's real and what isn't to protect you guys. Archangel Michael showing up here more, you know, more than once saying you are protected. You are safe to make these changes that you've been contemplating here. It's safe for you to take the leap you've been contemplating. You guys are manifesting new love. There's a new person that stirs your romantic feelings. 
for some of you guys, this fear here is of marriage, is of committing again, if you guys have been married before, right? But it's like, this is a divinely guided and divinely protected. You're ready now after, after so many lessons that you've learned, right? To do things right this time, to do things. We saw the, the justice card to do things in a more balanced way, in a healthier way than you have in the past because of all of, because of your spiritual transformation and because of all of the healing work you've done. Spirit, yeah, let your friends help you. Lean on your inner, inner, your community, your soul family, and your soul tribe. You've learned so much already from the past. You have climbed all of the mountains to get to where you are. And now, here you are, coming into union with the right people for you in your life okay so our okay spirit what what other guidance do you have for love here for the collective wow wedding i can't make this up you guys you guys are manifesting okay twice now you're manifesting here you're attracting in emotional fulfillment and unconditional love okay um uh, there's an emperor here that's stepping up to the plate that that's coming in with this new opportunity Release your attachment to the outcome and just be in this energy of law of attraction. It, what, what will be, will be. What's from me won't pass me by. I'm smelling the roses. I'm enjoying this moment fully. Feminine energy of being in the present moment. Yeah, free yourself here. Have the conversation. Speak your needs. Work on your throat chakra. Heart to heart conversation. This new beginning is requiring you to have a lot of trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, the only way for you to know that your needs will be met is if you speak on them. So that's throat chakra energy. Have the heart to heart conversation with the important people in your life. It's time for you, it's time to take back control of your life. Okay, so some of you guys are uh, uh, manifesting this marriage, and for others of you guys, that's what's ending in your life is a wedding. You're becoming more independent and you're embarking on a healing journey, but you're not giving up on love. You know that, that it may not have worked out with this person. If you're going through a divorce right now and ending, it may not have worked out because this is a change in your relationship, your career, your home, right? Um, your money, even lots of money, a windfall is coming in next level abundance. What I just heard. So, once you once you get out of of a of a relationship that's not for you that served its purpose, you can heal, and but you're not giving up on love, right? Because it's an opportunity here for you to meet your soulmate, to meet the person that your next person is your last person, kind of thing, right? Uh, when the time is right, when you're there, when you're ready, okay? But it's going to require a lot of patience for you and a lot of a lot of uh, resilience. For you to go through these changes right now that you're experiencing. Nothing's yet set in stone. What else for the collective uh, spirit? Flirt. This is feminine energy here. Of being lighthearted. Right? Your heart being as light as a feather. We have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And this person was worth the wait. Worth the wait for a lot of you guys. Spirit wants you to keep an open mind here. Uh, if you haven't met this person yet, to keep an open mind because your soulmate is going to be different than your usual type and expectation. So you have always been the person that's been the mat. If, you, if, you, if you're a, a feminine energy and you've always been the person that needed to keep your shield up, your guard up and been the masculine energy in all of your relationships, this person is going to want to take charge. This person is going to want to take the lead. This person is going to want to um, give to you and take care of things because they want to. <laughs> Because it makes them happy to take care of things. So just let them. This person's going to be different. If you're used to being abandoned and rejected, this person's not going to do that. If you're used to being, you know, uh, treated, you know, not in the way that you are worthy and deserving of, this person is, is not going to do that. Keep an open mind. This person may have a different race, religion, background, culture, age. Okay, uh, then you, so spirit said, keep an open mind. Uh, love and attraction grows and blooms the healthy one slowly as you continue to 
give it a chance, as you continue to work on it, as you continue to put a lot of time and effort into it, it's going to take effort. It's going to take work, right? It's going to take, you know, a, a lifestyle change for some of you guys. Adapting. It's going to take adapting. A, making adjustments and compromising your life when you're adding another person to your life. It's going to require a lot of patience, strength card, for you to go through these changes, right? Especially if you've been on your own for a while, you know? So just be flexible with these changes that's occurring. And remember that you are protected. Here's protection again. Wow, what a powerful reading, <laughs> you guys. I didn't think it was going to go this long, um, but here we are. If you're still here, thank you guys so much. Um, God bless you. I love you all. Namaste. And please uh, reach out to me if you guys would like your own personal session. Mwah, 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 mwah. Much love. Until next time.